today I'm going to show you how I make my rings. This is oh, cracking this wire. Five millimeter stick. I did get it through Amazon. This is in the back. Um, no, I guess it doesn't really say much. This is what the bag looks like. There's You'd be surprised how much I've already used. I might have another roll here going. I do. Right here. It's almost gone. I haven't started this one yet, but I'll finish off this one. So there was, must have been five rolls in here when I bought it. I can't remember what I paid for it. I don't know. 15, 15 20 dollars. I'm not sure. But I got it because it works for so many different things. And one of them is making rings. So, and this is how I do it. I've already got some made. Just you know, and I did line these ones with uh, black clay, but you don't have to. I have with some, some I haven't. These ones, I guess I was just probably bored one day and went ahead and did it. But anyway, that to the side. So I just take off a piece. Now what do I can't even remember what I use now to do my size on them, but I do have a ring sizer. So depending on what size you want, and of course you have to take into consideration, you do have clay going on the inside of that, so it's going to be a little bit different. Now my ring size is like around five, six, so, which everybody says is too small for them. So I'm, I'm going to do an eight. So I'm going to wrap that around my eight. Guess. <laughs> well, not really guess. I can see where it joins. You can see that. And then I'll just take my you can tell I've been out sick for a while because I can't find anything. Um, I mean, my good pair of snips, too. And I don't see them. I'll get my other ones. This is easy to cut anyway. It's quite soft. So then I'm just going to try to get it so you can see what I'm doing. Line it up here. Just take it right off. Line it up. It is easy to snip. I guess these snippers aren't really good. I mean, I guess I was a student there, I guess. That's quite possible. So then you just want to make sure that it's all nice and round. All around it. And that's easy. Let me just put that on here. I'll do my pliers. As you can see, it's actually bigger than what I started with. And I can't, but I, again, you have to take into consideration that um, there's foot clay on the inside of it, and I'm not making any particular size. I just want to squeeze those in so that they match up nicely and they're flat. This one here, I'm not going to put the um, black on the inside, I don't think. And again, you want it nice and round, so just keep taking it here and pushing it. I save all my cans and jars and have them all individualized in my paint brushes and my cutters and stuff. And that's why I don't know why my cutters are missing. Somebody probably borrowed them, but we won't say that too loudly. Anyway, I'm not here. And that's okay. So, then we have to well, what color clay are we going to use? Hmm. That's a good question. Yeah, I'm hauling out my cans that I've got full. Because so I'm thinking I might do put one of my beads that I've made and put in some on it. So I want what color do I want it? Maybe I will do that and I don't know. I don't want anything too funky. Maybe I'll do like a charcoal. Let me see what I can get a stash over here. I guess 
I wasn't as prepared as I thought I would be for this tutorial. I thought I had everything out. Nope, I don't. Clean up mode. I wrap everything out. Yeah, I can see what happens. I can't open it. Make my scissors. I'm going to take out my little Ziploc bags. Just put them in that. Nope, I don't think that'll look good. It'll look good with this one. So I'll save that for this one. I think I need a brown color. I'm going to put you on hold and I'll be back when I get a color that I like. I'll be right back. Okay, here we are. This is the color I got. And how I got this color was a little, well, it's mainly, um, uh, my brain's not working today. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. White pearl. And a little bit of black. So I kind of like how this color came out. And I'm probably going to use it for my other ones too. Probably do the same thing. So anyway, I'm going to roll this through one more time just to try and get it into that nice length. Like so. I oh, better do it again because it's not really perfect. And my past machine is over here to my right. So it's not, you know visual for everybody to see it, but it is here, I promise, and I'm going to roll that through one more time on a number five and seven being my thickest. Here we go. Now I'm going to consider, no, that should be okay, I guess. I don't want to make it too thick for this, for the inside because, you know, why? I will trim it. I'll make my blade again. Man, I'm getting this stuff pretty dirty. It's like everything's sticking to it. Whatever that is. Oh, I know what that is. I have these cool <clears throat> cow shapes for my earrings. Like that. Very nice. I have another one too, and it's for. Yeah, we can't see. Because it's full of stuff. I'll empty it and then I'll show you. I heard these online too. Not really sure where, but they're the coolest things I've ever seen. Missed you the corners of your necklaces. It saves a lot of hassle. Alright, I just want to trim this up. I know it's still thicker than I do with the other piece. I'm telling you. Wow, I should not probably be down here in my room. Anyway, I'm here and I'm not going anywhere for a while. So there. I'm just going to stick that on the inside here. I don't know what my problem is. My cheek and everything was really bothering me and I took one of my pain pills before I came down here. That's probably why I'm having such a hard time. Let's just trim this off. Just guessing, but having quite an off day, but I really want to try and get down here. It's been so long between surgery and taking care of my mom and, you know, all that fun stuff. And you notice how I did that, right? Just put that on my finger and shoved it in. I'm so <clears throat> fancy. And I'm just going to roll it. And this is just one of my, you know, those rubber things. But yeah, we'll rub that nice and smooth, and then I want to trim it. I do like that color. I'm trying to think of the name of that color, but you know, it's not going to come to me, so I won't bother trying. It's nice and smooth in there, so I'm going to trim that with my little Sharpie tool here. Just go right around it, like so.
And if you choose, you can actually put this in the oven right now if you want it to. Bake it. That looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to do that for like 10 minutes. So I'm going to put this in the oven for 10 minutes just because I don't want to mess it up. Or I've got it all nice and neat and smooth. The way I feel, I probably should do that. I just didn't mean to make it a mess like I just did. Oh, I know my nail caught that. I chop these aggravating things off. And just give it a little trim, make sure it's still nice and clean, because I did roll that again. And you can see the clay's not overly thick in there. I don't like it overly thick. So I'm gonna bake that for 10 minutes. And then we'll come back and we'll do the outside of it. Okay, I'll see you in a sec. All right, here we go. Roll this out. This is on my thickest setting. You should come see, I guess. You can tell. Anyway. I'm going to turn the edges. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we get a nice... in case I mess it up. That's where I'm going. Trim off the end. I don't want to cover that up so it doesn't break on me. Pretty good. Oh, is that right for my hand? It's quite thick. I think I am. I'll put back on my number five. edges. It's going to be covered up. It's like a silver. But that'll just do these two, just make them in a circle and you not even put any clay on them if you wanted to. How fun is that? Gotta play with some clay. I've been playing with clay since before I can even remember. Always my favorite thing to play with as a child. So I'm just going to make these nice and smooth. I won't be doing the other one on camera because, you know, I'm probably already boring you with this one. But just in case you're not sure. I find my clay really soft. It's not that it's hot in here. I don't even have the heat on. I don't know why I always find it wrong. Must be that little witch thing happening. But anyway, just going to roll that off nicely. And I'll we'll be checking for fingerprints. If I need to trim some off, I will with my, my blade, my handy dandy blade. So I'm going to continue fiddling with this one. And I'm going to get it nice and smooth and exactly how I like it. I'm going to bake it. Now this one I'm probably going to put in, I don't know, probably 15 minutes. Maybe, yeah, probably 15 minutes. It depends on how I'm going to finish it. 
I'll just say 20. Look at how clean it is. And when it's finished, I'll show you. And then we'll, and you don't have to put a design or anything on it, but you can. We're going to, just so you can see the difference. It's very so soft. Try to climb it up. Anyway, and then we'll start to climb it up. And then I'll come back. Do you ready to do? All right, we're back. Whoops. And have you done briefly? So now we can just dazzle them up a little bit. So I've made up my mind that I'm going to, I guess I've totally made up my mind. I just have these here and I'm going to pick from them once I go over from the color. So I haven't decided, I'm gonna put this one on. <clears throat> I could put that one on like that. Maybe put these little ones on the side. This one, I don't know, it's kind of big, I think. Yeah. Okay, so we'll go with this one. And with this one here, I'm going to do something like this. And maybe just those three. I'm just going to glue them on. So let's just start gluing see what happens. And yeah, I've been playing with alcohol ink. Well, that's what it's used to bake. So, I'm going to stick this. I'm going to get that sun glue here as well. And I'll do the best that I can. my finger. And then I'm going to put one of those on each side so I can hang on to them long enough. side. I've forgotten I put my beads away. I'll just call them back out again. <clears throat> Excuse me. some beads in the middle of these. So there's that one. Oops, sorry about that. I'm going to put some pause here for a minute anyway. I'm going to go get my little beads and I'll break that. Okay. So I put the beads in here on this side. And I taped this one off screen. So all I do is I just put some glue in here. So you can see what I'm doing. Well, yeah, there's definitely some there now. I'll pick up my beads and whoops. Hopefully it gets ready and stick it a little suckers in them. And if I don't like how they are, well these ones are positioned quite fine, but if I don't like it, I'll just move them out. And wait for the glue to dry. And put the cover on it before it dries up in there. And there. So of course this is wet. But here's one that I've done. I'm gonna set that down. Hopefully it won't mess up. Here's one that I've done, and I put little leaves on it. And there's one in here, too. With the beads in there. Here's another one that I've done. I taped. And another 
doing? Well, this is when we've done together. Still wet. But there it is. And now we just have to wait for this one to dry. I like the color of this one. And there, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope I gave you some cool ideas. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.